Hey everybody, this is Nem with Lost Dark, and we're going to be covering how to get some of the collectibles for your adventure journals. It's pretty straightforward, not too difficult to do, just kind of a time sink. You know, what I'm finding people are asking is, how are you getting these collectibles? What's the best way to get them? And uh, is it the same on the NA and EU servers as it is on the old servers? And for the most part, I can tell you, I'm, I'm pretty fairly confident that it is the same. I haven't been able to prove a couple of things on NA and EU, but I'm fairly confident it's exactly the same. So if you see a video, for the most part, on from another server, you can follow it. But let's take a look at... I only have a few continents done right now, um, and we're going to start with Rithramus just uh, to take a look at these collectibles. So every zone, you're going to get 25 of a white, 25 of a white, 10 of a green, 10 of another green item, 4 blue, 4 blue, and the coveted purple item. That's the hardest part of every adventure journal. That and like getting everybody's rapport up can be a little difficult as well, especially when they start to introduce like uh, some parameter requirements, like 50 kindness, for example, for one of the first rapport. But getting these adventure journals done isn't too bad. You complete the main story for the continent. You do each dungeon on normal and hard. You get all the vistas. You do all the cooking, which can sometimes be difficult because it's fairly often uh, dependent on maxing out somebody's rapport. You get all the triports. You get the rapport. You find all the hidden stories. There's some amazing YouTube guides out there. There's a couple YouTubers. Uh, I wish I could remember their channel names at the moment, but I watch them for a lot of that stuff. Phenomenal resources from Russia and uh, and from KR. Get all the monsters. The monster names can be tough if you're looking up a guide. The names don't just line up, but the position on the monster board is the same. Sometimes even the monster models don't look the same from Russia to here, from KR to here. But the area the mob spawns on is almost always the same. Sometimes it's a little different, um, maybe slightly to the west or slightly to the east. But for the most part, um, so if you see someone, you know, you're looking up Lead Crow Claw, maybe you find someone that does a complete guide of all monsters for your continent, look for the one where they get that second check mark, because usually people will get the kill and show you they got the check mark. If you can find a video like that, that'll take care of you. But on to the important part, how to farm these collectibles. Well, it all depends. For the most part, you want to do a dungeon to get the purple item or the world boss for the area. Now, I personally haven't validated that the world bosses drop these purple items on NA and EU, but I've gotten them to drop at least blue items, so it's a safe assumption that it will also drop the purple ones like other servers. And supposedly, they have a higher chance. I farmed one for all day today and wasn't able to get the purple drop, but then got it off of a normal mob in a dungeon. But I always do the highest level dungeon in the area, typically on hard. You don't have to. It can be on any dungeon, whichever dungeon is the fastest to get through. And you can do it on normal, too. I don't know what the drop rates are, so I just take the safe route, and I do hard mode. But for the first area, I do this dungeon right here. It's Aqualox Tail. It is in the Rethramus border zone. And the final boss of this dungeon dropped me the Bloody Rod. So if you're having trouble getting that, just keep running that dungeon. I ran it solo. You can run it with a group. Um, it, it doesn't really matter. If you're bored of that, or you don't need the purple item, you need some other items, I actually farmed these zombies right outside the dungeon. I had like a nice little route here, farming all these zombies for drops. That was pretty effective. Sometimes I would uh, mix it up and come down here and kill these spiders. They had plenty of drops for me. And every now and then I, I went to the wind road to explore or the graveyard when I got bored. The graveyard has a nice little loop up this way of mobs. But ultimately I found the most consistent route was just running around up here and running the dungeon. That got me through all the collectibles in the first zone. Now they do say the collectibles can drop anything from anyone. I don't know how true that is, uh, but I have been able to prove you at least get up to the blue items from any one of the zones on the continent. Log Hill can drop a blue just as much as Ankumo or Rathramus. Easy peasy, right? Let's uh, take a look at the second zone. There's a little, little key difference I want to show you on a nice sweet farming spot. For this one, I this is where I kind of learned that the purple items can drop from any of the dungeons on any difficulty, from any boss. Oh, god, that was 
loud. Ooh. Um, it's alright. I don't know what that was about. I guess the game bugged. But, uh, yeah, on... In this area, I did the Submerged Ruins dungeon here, Mirai Ruins. That's what I farmed. But, for the purple item, you can also do the next... the dungeon in the next zone. It, it doesn't really matter. Superior Cave's fine, too. But for everything else, if it's not a purple item, I, I, I kind of feel like I have better luck in the dungeons with some of the blue items sometimes, sometimes not. I think it's all RNG. But in my mind, I was thinking, you know, it's going to be based off of kills. The more kills I can get, the better my chances of getting the item are going to be. So I found some bandit camps way up here that I felt like the respawn times were just decent enough and the amount of kills were just decent enough that it was more effective to farm my whites and my greens and even some of my blues and it's right up here in this little corner here there's this camp there's this camp and there's this camp and just kind of farming these guys for a while look there's an old bandits right there just seems to be uh, a really good method for getting the collectibles in the second zone and again the uh Nomad's Dream bosses, or even the Salt Giant, perhaps, will we'll drop it. The uh, third continent, West Lutera, is the one I'm working on right now. I'm almost done with it. And we can, we can teleport over there if we'd like. But this one, this one I'm struggling with a little bit to find, like, a sweet spot. I think, I think I've got kind of one down, but it's just not as good as the second continent, unfortunately. But there's a dungeon here, Greyhammer Mine, and I was farming that dungeon for the ring. I also farmed the world boss, which, by the way, he spawns right here in this, like, little phallic-shaped whatever. Um, just fought him a ton of times. I, I think I killed him, like, 30 or 40 times today and didn't see anything past a blue drop. I got a lot of these marionettes. But yeah, the uh, the blue drops, the uh, the green, the white. Farming that dungeon was really great. Um, but once I got the ring, I started looking for more effective places to farm. And I've been running around the Battlebound Plains, actually, for that. And so in the Battlebound Plains, what I'm doing is I'm running this path. I run up here, kill everything in here, kill everything in here. And then I turn around and I do it over and over again. It's probably not the most effective. I experimented with some going in this loop. This probably is a more effective loop. But there just doesn't seem to be that many kills for the distance. And I tried experimenting with this loop going through here. Um, mostly what it's coming down to is everything's kind of spread out. So it's just whatever uh, keeps me the least bored and the most on autopilot simultaneously. Which right now I'm... I'm enjoying this one, I guess, but maybe one of you guys can, can find a better route. For now, that's what I'm doing, though, and it's dropping everything for the most part. Uh, a little little shy on these pendants right now. Um, and then from there, we'll go to East Lutera. So that's really my strategy so far. It seems to be working with uh, West almost being done. Just need a rapport and the last few collectibles. Rethramus just needs that last rapport, which you need 50 kindness for. So we're pretty much down three at this point. Cool. So, uh, let me see if I can find that YouTuber real quick for you. He's got, he's a phenomenal channel, and I think it would really be worth your time to check him out. He does a f just an absolutely phenomenal job. Let's see here. He is... Let's scroll down right here. HTF Game Studios. So let me pull that up for you here. HTF. So this guy, man, he's got phenomenal guides. He does not get enough recognition for the Adventure Journal guides that he has. Please check them out. Uh, he does other games too, but I've really been enjoying his Lost Ark playlists. I mean, uh, they're all from, like, I, I believe from the Russian sh server. They could be from the Korean. I don't know. But they're definitely not from NAEU, but they definitely work. They totally work. They're phenomenal guides. He's got them into playlists, so it's not just Adventure Tombs. Like, you can go through the Rathramus playlist here, for example, and I'll click up here. In a continent, the seventh and last ah. <laughs> Sorry, but uh, just look at all his videos. He's got all the cooking ones. They're, they're organized. Rathramus cooking. Rathramus cooking. 
Uh, he's in here with the location and fight guide for the area boss, so you can find out where the bosses are for each one. The vistas, the monster locations, of course the names are the old names, so um, you'll just want to take a look. But he'll show you in the video, and you can line it up with what we have in, in, in EU. So yeah, that's that's it, man. All the stories, everything. Phenomenal guides by that guy. Alright, that's all I've got for you. So uh, get out there and, and beat me to it, huh? Alright, see you later.